Hello everybody, Retrobeard here. How are you all doing? It's uh, time for today's gaming news. Um, before I get started, I just want to uh, apologise for not keeping quite as up to date with the news as I was doing, but I've had a lot going on and I also try and keep my uh, other videos and content, you know, varied and well, I always have little projects I want to do in priority. So, I mean, this isn't strictly just the news channel, but still, you know, I like to be reasonably cons consistent. And as I put in the community section, I just want to say um, I'm also looking at resuming streaming, like the good old days. Some of the long-time members of this channel won't remember. And um, I'm going to perhaps start off streaming once a week for 30 minutes and then increase it until we achieve the desired effect or, or not increase it. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking perhaps streaming some Switch, um, some Xbox 360 if I can make it um, play nicely with my capture card, um, Xbox uh, original 360, Xbox One and technically Series X where the games are cross-platform. So um, I might even try some PlayStation 3 if I can um, unscramble the HC, HCP protection, whatever it's called, you know, where the uh, HDMI has that um, encryption on PlayStation 3s. Um, and so on. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, on with the news. I'll get started because at least I can do some stories before I go off on my own tangent. The For anybody who hasn't um, been on this planet for the last few days, I thought I'll tell you. Um, Sega has announced the Mega Drive 2 mini console. Um, and we were all hoping for a Sega Saturn. I mean, I always thought it was a long shot because, not Saturn, Dreamcast. I always thought it was a long shot because, obviously... Dreamcast is fairly advanced hardware for for these little armed machines that you get. But yeah, Sega Mega Drive 2 um, or Genesis 2 if you're in the good old USA. Um, it's um, coming with 50 games, but the, the, the interesting part is some of them are Mega CD or Sega CD. Um, yeah, so it's going to be available in Japan in October 27th. You can order it or pre-order it, I believe, on Amazon Japan. Um, they've only they've only revealed a few of the games for the Mega Drive. It's going to be Virtual Racing, their answer to Star Fox, of course. If anyone remembers um, Bonanza Brothers, which is an all right game. Shining in the Darkness, pretty cool. Thunder Force um, Four, pretty cool. Magic Tarot Tarotul, excuse my pronunciation. My Japanese is rusty. Um, Fantasy Zone. And on the Mega CD front of things, um, Silipede Shining Force CD, which is a good game. It's a port of the Shining Force games for the Game Gear. I remember my brother used to have it on his Mega CD, and, and um, it promised a lot, and it never quite delivered for us, but it was still awesome. Um, Sonic CD, which is a classic. Mansion of Hidden Souls, I've not really had much exposure to that. Pop and Pop Full Mail, I've not really had any exposure to that. And the rest of the games are to be released and um, revealed in the near future. And I will put them on here if anyone's interested or do a video on them. Um, if if this doesn't come to the West, I'm not interested. If this doesn't come with, um, you know, a few more games that interest me, um, like Snatcher. If Snatcher on the Mega CD was on here, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Especially if I could... Um, buy a cute little um, light gun with it, or motion controller equivalent, because um, Snatcher, I realise not everyone in here would have played it, but if you can emulate it, you can do it, because it was an amazing visual novel anime style thing, um, set in the future of the Metal um, Metal Gear universe, I believe, and it was um, absolutely awesome. Think um, anime Blade Runner, but you're going through the visual, visual novel elements, and then the shooting sequences, with your Sega Sega Menace Light gun or whatever we had back in the day, or was it the, was it the, was it the one that was blue and like a Colt? So long ago. I mean, I was like twelve or thirteen or something. So my memory is allowed to be rusty. As I said, I might have only been twelve, thirteen, no more than fourteen. Um, and I'm showing my age now, but um, well, it will show me age. Look at me. So yeah, it was. I, we shall see. Um, see if there's anything else um, worth mentioning. Yeah, that will do in regards to anything that interests you guys. So, on to the next study. Um, don't you guys have millions of pounds? That's the um, the new Blizzard um, insult to people who criticised Diablo Immortal. Because they're saying to fully upgrade your character will cost you more than $100,000. So you so to play Diablo Immortal, you don't just need a phone, you need to have a crud load of money. Um, yeah, which doesn't surprise me with these um, con 
con merchants. To think that Blizzard once meant awesome games for the people with awesome content and now it's just bleeding everybody dry of money is like everybody else so yeah so only way to fully upgrade your character involves microtransactions and loot boxes and it will cost more than a hundred thousand dollars so i better start saving oh i'm not playing the game it's all right um yeah so you can also now play it on pc so you guys don't just have to have phones which is good news so yeah i'm not too impressed i mean between, well, I say between you and me, then obviously it's between anybody who's watching this. Um, I wouldn't play this game if, unless I was paid. Hopefully $100,000 so I can get some good content. So, that's that. On to the next story. Cyberpunk 2077, the much-promised, much-maligned game, finally runs well on last-generation consoles. So that's the big news there. Um, yeah, because the PlayStation, the base PlayStation 4 and the base Xbox One, Xbox One S versions apparently were pants. And, and my um, Xbox One X and people with PlayStation 4 Pros, I think it was reasonable to play. But on the base versions, it was literally pants because it was, you know, it was a next generation game. Not really meant for past generations. Um, and, you know, even initially, there was a lot of problems on PC, weren't they? So I'm not going to go too much into detail because it's, you know... It is what it is, but yeah, so the, the load times have apparently shrunk down and the frames per second have increased to a reasonable amount. So if you've got, if you're unfortunate enough to have a base PS4 and a base Xbox One as your main console and this game interested you because you wanted to meet Keanu Reeves or, um, or go, whoa, or, or, or you know, we'll go into a cool cyberpunk universe, like I do love cyberpunk genre, now's the time to get it, assuming it's on sale for like a tenner, um, which to people overseas means ten pounds or I don't know fifteen dollars I don't know thirteen dollars whatever. I I don't own the game. It interests me. But if I ever see it on a ridiculously cheeky sale, I'd grab it because I do like the side punk genre. I mean, I even been playing Shadow Run on the Super Nintendo back in the early nineties, and I had a lot of fun. I mean, most of the fun was watching my brother play because he was actually a good gamer. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it, and um, I used to like cyberpunk animes like Cyber City Oedo and. Um, well, I enjoyed cyberpunk films. I mean, obviously, there's classic Blade Runner. There's been, there's been um, that other one with Keanu Reeves. That was good. Not that Keanu Reeves was in Blade Runner. Um, what was it called? Johnny Mnemonic. That was a classic. Um, obviously, The Matrix. I consider The Matrix to be cyberpunk. But, yeah, and there's probably a load more that I can't remember because I'm being spontaneous. So, yes, grab cyberpunk if you've got a an old-ass console. Bear in mind, my most more modern console is an Xbox One X, so I'm not being a snob. Well, technically, my Switch OLED is my most modern console, but obviously that's even more um, more um, anemic than my Xbox. But I do love the Switch. Anyway, on to the next story, because I'm muffling. Um, Sony, this is a few days old, so, so I apologise, but they've sold 20 million PlayStation 5 consoles. Wow. Yes, I wonder if we never had the global chip shortage, how many it would have been. More like 40 million, probably by now. So, yeah. That's a lot of consoles in spite of our global chip shortage. Um, I don't think the Switch is quaking in its boot yet. yet. And I think this generation is, uh, you know, went casting aside a minute the chip shortage and all the rubbish going on in the world. Because, you know, diseases are bad enough that man-made diseases that apparently escape from labs is bad enough. But now we've got, um, you know, economy crippling global conflicts just to add the icing on the cake of our awful lives. Um, yeah, um, this generation has shown that power of a console isn't where the sales are. It's the charm, it's the software, it's the um, the mood, which is probably best weird, the charm, isn't it? It's the, um, yeah, you know, Nintendo Switch deserves to be number one. I mean, I know it's, I know it's an older console than the new ones, but Nintendo is really the last company to really have a massive amount of beautiful exclusives that make their brand you know great um i know i know um playstation have enough exclusives to put xbox to shame and i'll give them that but nintendo is the king of exclusives um i don't find playstation or xbox to be 
even a shadow of their former greatness of the Xbox 360 and PS3 era. I think that was the prime time. I know the PS3 had a bad start, but once it got its footing, it, you know, it was amazing. And you know, it was always going to struggle after an epic moment like the PlayStation 2 and 1, obviously, epic, epic you know, generations. But, yeah, I'd say the greatest, um, the greatest all-round new meets old, old meets new... Um, console generation is the xbox 360 and i think i think the more time that passes the more people will realize it and especially those who grew up with it or in my case i was already an adult i remember so many good gaming experiences and um yeah that's why i've got an xbox 360 again i'm going to bargain shops and amassing a collection of games and hoarding myself even more with junk anyway i'll just check this article because i've gone off well there's not that much to it but i mean how much can you talk about it when you say they've got 20 million consoles yeah, so not impressed with the PlayStation 5. I think it look, it's ugly. It looks like an ice cream wafer sandwich to me that my mum used to make when I was a kid when she'd get two wafers, get some vanilla ice cream and go... <laughs> that's that's what that looks to me. It looks like crap. The controller looks like it's half finished. It looks naked, the controller does. And that D-pad looks like complete pants. So, And I don't like the um, horizontal matching... Uh, analog sticks. I like one up and one down. That's just my Xbox um, bias. So I know PlayStation fans are probably disgusted with me, but I'm not a fanboy. I just like what I like. Um, yeah, so, and the Xbox Series X, in spite of all of its power, to me it's charmless. It's just an Xbox One X.15 slightly faster load time, slightly better graphics. That's all I really get from it. But when your additional storage, your proper additional storage, is like two hundred pound on a on a discount day, up to four five hundred pound on a full price day, you can count me out. I'd rather buy a PC, and I'm not a PC snob. My my lap gaming laptop's quite modest. So, anyway, I am going to go now because I am just endlessly waffling and and showing the way I'm not good at the news. I will speak to you all tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for all the support and comments, and um, keep them coming, please. And um, if you enjoy um my um content please give me a like and um you know and a comment let's say comment if you so wish um anybody you think might enjoy my drivel please send them my way i will speak to you soon this is retro beard signing off bye for now thank you very much see you later